Good morning, my lovers. I'm back out on the fields. I'm on the, the relic field today. Just as I was finishing yesterday on this here field, I started coming across loads of signals right at the end of the day. And I was too tired to dig them, getting on a bit like. So uh, I've just got a signal down here and it sounds really nice. So I thought I'd dig it now. Well, I thought I'd dig it now and come back on the field, what I'm talking about. Right. Let's waffle in more digging. Oh, I like the sound of this one. Hmm, not much on the screen. Right there. Hmm. Oh, hit something. I can see something down there. Right, let's get a bit closer. What's that there? That's not it. Oh, I thought that was it. Right. A bit further over. Oh. Hmm, sounds big now. I have to get the spade in there. Hmm. Yeah, spade time. It's got a green. I can see greenness. Oh, it's quite big. It's biggish. It's going to move. All right, let's get you down the hole so you can see it. It's right there, look. Oh, it's quite big. Whatever it is, it's big. It could be a relic. Oh, I don't want to move. Oh, 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 it just moved. Oh, it's a massive pot leg. Look at the size of it. That must have been a monstrous pot. Oh, there it is, look. It is a monstrous pot leg. I don't think I've ever found one so large. Right, and get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. There we go, look, one medieval pot leg. I'll detect around here a bit more because where they've been eating, they might have been sitting down and dropping some medieval coins as well. But that is a monstrous pot leg. Don't think I've ever found one so large. Cool, this was giving me a banging signal. Must be muddy around here. It's a foot pattern. These would have been attached to the underside of clogs or slip-on type shoes. They would have been attached there. I haven't found one with that big bit sticking out before, I don't think. There would have been another bit here on this end. So yeah, that's, uh, ooh, what's that? That's uh, probably 300 years ago, 200, 300 years ago. It's a foot pattern. Oh, we've got something nice in here. 
1236. Oh, I got a coin. Yes, I wonder who it is. I reckon it's George V looking at the colour. 1896. No, it's not George V. It's going to be a veil head. Yeah, there she blows. Good day to you, ma'am. Let's give her a rub on the magic trousers. Excuse me, ma'am, but uh, I'm rubbing your face. Yeah, lovely patina. Yeah, 1896. Lovely jubbly. Oh, it got a lovely signal here. In the middle. Mmm. Yeah, it's a relic. My first, re well, second relic, if you count the, uh, the uh, pot man of the day. Lovely jubbly. Right, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. Yeah, it's a little piece of medieval history. In the shape of a, is it the shape of a fleur-de-lis sort of shape? A bit of horse harness decoration, methinks. And that's probably quite old. If you know, post below. But yeah, that is a relic. Silver plated by the looks of it at some point. It's a bit of silver plate still on there. That could be 500, 600 years old. God, this was giving off a banging signal. I had to dig it. It's one of the biggest buckles I think I've ever found. Shaped like a man's head with ears, look. Two little strap holes on the side. And that big buck, massive. Look at it, it's huge. Oh, we got something down this ear hole. Right there. Oh, can see a bit of dark soil. I might have another relic. Yeah, a bit of crumbly dark soil. It's a good sign. Oh. What's that? Oh dear, it's a bit brittle. Ah, it's a buckle. It is a tiny little knee buckle. And that's the innards, just broke away. There you go, uh, it's all rust up. That's the insides that were just crumbling. Right, give this a little bit of a brush up and get back to you. Slightly unusual that this bit is, this bit's bigger than that bit. Right, I'm on the relics today. One of my comments the other day said, does it cost anything to subscribe? No, nope, doesn't cost anything to subscribe. You've just got to click subscribe and the little bell notification and you'll get told when my videos go up. Uh, but if you, if you would really like to get my videos a little bit earlier than normal, you could subscribe to my Patreon page, which costs one dollar a month. So, hardly anything really, a dollar a month. Right, I've got another epic signal down here. Oh, I've got something down this here hole. Right there. Looks small, could be an epic relic. Oh, it's a worm. Excuse me, Mr. Worm. Mm, 
right on it. Should be. Oh, I can see greenness. It's a relic. It's a relic. It's quite big. Look at that green. You see that sort of turquoisey green? That means whatever it is could be really old. Brittle. Oh, it's very brittle. Whatever it is, it's brittle. Oh, there's a bit of it. Oh, look at the greenness of that. That is old. Whatever that is, it's old. Right, you carefully clean that. Is that is that everything? Oh, there's a bit more down there. Alright, I'm gonna dig around it a bit more. Right. I'm gonna get back to you when I've uh, dug round it a bit more because I, I need the, the spade. Right, it's very crumbly, whatever it is. Whatever that is, it's very crumbly. Right. Is that all of it? Yeah, that was it. Right, I think it was just some sort of ancient strainer. It's got like lots of holes punched in it. And they go right through to the other side. It's a bit jagged on this side. So uh, some sort of an ancient strainer. But if you want old artifacts, you want this colour. This is an ancient colour. So I don't know how old this is going to be, but it could be really, really old. Sort of Roman, possibly. God, you don't find many of these in the fields. You find them more on beaches than fields. It's a spendable pound. Woohoo, a spendable pound. <laughs> Someone's dropped a spendable pound. Lovely jubbly. Oh, something nice down here. It's like a good big chunk of lead. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's a funny looking thing. Right. I'll get that cleaned up and get back to you. Oh, I don't know what that is. Looks vaguely like a pot mend, but looks like um a Mexican hat, vaguely. Got a great big dent in the middle. Bizarre. Oh, this one was right proper iffy on the surface, but I think I found another relic. Just there, look. See the rim? Another relic. Let's dig around it a bit. Is it a spectacle buckle? Or something completely different? It's got a round shape. Oh! What's that? Could be quite old. Or it could just be a bit of horse tack. I think it's a bit of horse tack. Well, this signal was a bit iffy on the surface, but I can see an impression just there, and I can see an edge of something. I can see an edge just there. Oh, it was quite big. I think it's a coin. Oh, no, it's a pesky button. Oh, it's got a pattern on it. Yeah, got a bit sort of a, a big starburst. Right, I'll give this a bit of a brush with the old uh, toothbrush and get back to you. 
There we go. Some sort of like a big starburst. Like a bit of a dandy as well, because it's quite big. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I think I just found a bit of an ancient relic. Looks like bronze. Looks like bronze. Very crudely made. There's a bit of a curvature to it. Right, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. Right, there it is. Look at that. Now it looks like it's a rim of a pot. There's a little notch being taken out of it just there. And it is crude, seriously crude. There's a bit of a curvature downwards in places. But that could be really old. This could be thousands of years old. Maybe even Bronze Age. I'm going to have to show that to my Fines liaison officer, see what he thinks. Oh, I've had a pretty good hunt today. I got my epic piece of possible Bronze Age pot, or it could even be older than that. And, uh, oh, don't forget my uh, little horse harness decoration. That's uh, medieval. Uh, a funny dead thing. That looks like maybe some sort of a colander type thing. I got another piece of funny coloured metal. I reckon this piece of iron could be part of a knife. See how it's sharp on one side and blunt on the other? That could be Anglo-Saxon knife blade because it had a bit of a curve to them. Uh, oh, I got monstrous pot leg. Huge. I got me coin. The only coin of the day. Sp oh, no, it's saying that I got a spendable pound. Got a lovely old little buckle. Oh, that thing. I got a foot pattern. Oh, I've had a pretty good hunt. That's it, me lovers. I'm heading off. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be out with Two Tones Tony and then uh, Friday I think he said he's coming out as well and then um, uh, the weekend we'll have Probus Maximus to check out. Woohoo! Cheers! Was the wind of my true love and gently drops the rain